Okay, eh? uh, yesterday it was a bit rushed after finish the class your friends point out eh? and very important point eh? this the answer for the E and F okay answer for the E and F so if you draw the mechanism because in the note eh, uh, we only we only show uh, what we call a general mechanism but we expect that you should know eh? this is a SN2 mechanism reaction of the OH with PBR3 okay if all SN2 mechanism eh, you have to know most of the SN2 mechanism involve what an inversion of the product okay an inversion of the product so as you can see this okay after you if you draw the mechanism you can see the attack it produce a uh, bromide bromide uh, what we call anion okay here the stereochemistry is still the same but this step is a SN2 step the attack of a nuclear file to this uh, partially positive carbon okay is attacked from the opposite side the behind so the BR stereochemistry should be from uh, pointing out into the plane okay clear so yesterday the answer given is the same stereochemistry so you must be careful eh? although in the exam you do not need to draw the mechanism if you don't want to okay because of a shortage of time but you have to remember okay your answer for your so-called uh, product is a uh, it must be uh, an inversion eh? okay after this the, the other step this is another SN2 mechanism okay so your product will have a opposite so-called stereochemistry clear everyone clear so this is the correct answer yesterday your friend got this answer correct because he didn't but this answer is wrong okay so if you check the answer for uh, E and F you can see that E is pointing inside and F pointing outside eh? because of the so called the SN2 reaction eh? inversion okay and also uh, doctor has uh, prepared extra notes maybe uh, later Hidayah can uh, copy from me again that's why I prefer to give you the so called the slide eh? after finish the whole chapter because there might be additional notes eh? like that this one okay this is the additional notes just want to add in eh? because in the, the previous notes we didn't mention this point so you might uh, forgot you might uh, forget so oh. okay conversion of alcohol to alkyl halide with thionyl chloride or PBR3 these two are SN2 reaction okay so inversion of at the stereogenic center okay like th in this case this is a stereogenic cen center four different group attached to it from pointing outside react with the thionyl chloride and pyridine your so called your product is the inversion of the uh, original ma uh, starting material okay and for uh, the, the same case as well if you have a hydroxyl group pointing out of course you need three because there are three BR here okay then you will get a the, op, the product is a inversion product clear this is chapter number seven eh? SN2 reaction just want to add into the notes so when you, you know, study the time you remind this if not like sometimes we just overlook it you know, or we only remember the mechanism but we forget about the stereochemistry sometimes in the exam it will test you eh? this is like combination of two two chapters eh? the stereochemistry chapter and the, the reaction okay so like the same case also is it, eh? it show you that it, the bromide attack from the opposite side okay so please bear in mind eh? Hidayah later you can uh, copy the new notes for me or if you don't want that you just have to remember it because this is this is not new eh? this is in chapter 7 
and also doctor have promised to uh, look for you the uh, mechanism okay with alcohol and acid okay so although uh, where is it already ah this is the mechanism eh? yesterday we came across uh, an example okay using alcohol and acid okay so this is the mechanism first as i said eh, you have an acid the epoxide oxygen always you know, undergo protonation and react with the acid because H2SO4 is a stronger acid than the alcohol. Okay, so you can also imagine the lone pair attack the H here, then generate the sulfide ion. Okay, that's why you have protonation here. Then the following step, because this is using the acid, your new profile, in this case, you know, it's like uh, alcohol, lone pair, Although you also have sulfide, but the reaction proceeds while well, the alcohol will attack the more substituted carbon. Okay, because this is acid catalyzed one. Eh? You, will, you will attack the more substituted, in this case, is this carbon. Okay, there, there are two H here. There is one, uh, what called uh, benzyl group here, uh, phen phenyl group here. Okay, and uh, so after that, you got this intermediate species and the sulfide will attack the H okay to generate back the H2SO4 okay so this is the mechanism using alcohol and acid as shown in the example so now we continue with chapter 10 we have to finish chapter 10 before your test 2 the test 2 is on is it 19? Huh? 19 19 is Monday Monday eh? same time uh, I would, I would check eh, where is the venue. Maybe it's the same place also, like your test one. Okay, twelve to one. Eh? Never mind. Let me check again with Doctor Hasna because she booked the, the place. Okay, the venue. Okay, let's continue with uh, chapter ten. Alkenes. Okay, alkenes shouldn't be any. So uh, I mean, it's not new to you. You have studied organic chemistry since uh, form four. Okay, from 4, from 5, from 6, also you study alkenes. So this is going to be, some of some part of it is just a revision eh? with some additional uh, new, so-called new, new topics. Okay, so alkenes are also called olefins. Alkene contain a double bond, carbon-carbon double bond. Terminal alkene have two double bond at the end of the carbon chain. Eh? This is terminal alkene at the Terminal mean the end, okay? At the end, okay? Then, uh, internal, internal alkene, this is in the middle, okay? Of two uh, alkyl group, okay? Have at least one carbon atom bonded to each uh, of the double bond. Then we have a cycloalkene, okay? Just like a cyclic, uh, cy cycloalkene, this is alkene with the double bond. So these are the so called the uh, Different different types of alkene. So alkene hybridization, okay, is sp two. Everyone know this is sp two, and with the uh, and the 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 shape is trigonal planar, with a uh, one hundred twenty uh, degree in between, okay, and uh, two pi bond form, uh, like two electron clouds on the top and below, <coughs> of the so called the uh, uh, the sigma bond. This is. Uh, this is what we, uh, I mean, this is a repeat. Eh? Bond dissociation energy. How, how do you know? How strong is the pi bond? Because we know in alkene, you have a sigma bond here and you have a pi bond here. How do you know that what is the bond energy for the uh, pi bond? Okay, at first you need to know the bond energy of the sigma bond. Okay, this is a al alkane. This is alkene. Okay. So if you know the bond energy of the this sigma bond, bond, then you know the total bond energy of the alkene. So total energy minus the sigma bond, you will get the bond energy for pi bond. Okay, very straightforward. So the pi bond is much weaker than the sigma bond. As you can see, the pi, the pi bond is only two six seven, okay, uh, kilojoule per mole. Therefore. Alkane is uh, more stable than alkene because the pi bond in the alkene is weaker. Okay, so it's easier to undergo reaction. 
I already say that. Okay, how about cyclic alkene? Uh, cyclic alkenes uh, have having fewer than eight carbon atom have a cis geometry. Like this one, cyclo. Uh, uh, this is cis cyclooctane. Okay, of course this is octane. But anything less than eight carbon for the cyclic alkene, they exhibit a cis geometry. Uh, they are in a ring. Okay, so this is so called less strain is created. A trans cycloalkene must have a carbon change long enough to connect the end of the double bond without, introdu uh, without introducing too much strain. Okay, so this is uh, octane. Octane is also uh, uh, it's also possible to exhibit in trans or cis geometry, but the cis geometry for the cyclic alkene is more stable. Okay, a trans cyclooctane is the smallest isolable trans-cycloalkene but it is considered less stable than cis-cyclooctane making it one of the few alkenes having a high energy trans-isomer okay so this is the smallest that you can isolate it okay from that eh? because anything small than octane eight carbon you will exhibit in the cis geometry for a cyclic alkene okay so if you have nine or ten it's possible to find it in the trans structures, uh, trans uh, geometry. So uh, these are the properties of the so-called carbon-carbon double bond. So we know that it has a restricted rotation. That is why you cannot rotate alkene like alkane. Okay, because alkane is sp3. Alkene is sp2. Okay, it's already fixed. The double bond uh, cannot, you cannot rotate that. Uh, it's already fixed as a trigonal planar structures. The stereo isomerism, it exhibits what we call cis and trans. Later, we will discuss further. Stability, trans alkene. Uh, in this case, it's not cyclic. Eh? This is uh, acyclic alkene. Eh? Trans alkene are generally more stable than cis alkene. Previous one is cyclic alkene. Eh? So, for uh, acyclic alkene, the trans one is always more stable. If you compare this, this is cis, this is trans, this is uh, more stable. This is this one have two two uh, same uh, similar two hydrogen here, so it cannot exhibit any cis or trans. Okay, to exhibit cis or trans, the group in one side of the alkane must be different. Okay, so we will discuss further. This is uh, what we call the stability of alkene increase as the number of R group on the C double bond increase. This is what we have studied also. Uh, last last chapter. Eh? So more substituted alkene is more stable. Uh, how about this degree of unsaturation? Did you learn it before? STPM? No, eh? so never mind. Degree of unsaturation means very simple. Eh? I mean, it can indicate either uh, 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 how many rings or uh, how many double bond you have. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, let's see together. Degree of unsaturation tell you how many rings and double bond are in the in the molecule. The double bond could be C double bond C, C double bond O, okay, or even a triple bond. A triple bond means you have two double bond, okay. We will see. Thus, you know if you should look for a carbonyl, carbonyl as I say, C double bond O, or carbon carbon double bond, or a ring, or arom uh, aromatic ring. How about benzene? Okay, let's see. Eh? We know that if you have C double bond C, okay, the degree of saturation and unsaturation eh, is 1. If you have C double bond O, degree of unsaturation DU is also 1. If you have a uh, cyclic, degree of unsaturation also 1. Okay, how about this? If you have benzene, 1, 2, 3. Okay, how many double bond you have in this compound? 3. How many ring you have? One ring. Eh? So the degree of unsaturation for benzene is four. Okay. So if you calculate, okay, your uh, degree of unsaturation, which is four, and your molecular formula is given to you, then you should expect a benzene ring. So degree of unsaturation is useful for us to predict the structures of your compound if given a molecular formula. 
So now we are going to see how are you going to calculate the degree of unsaturation. Eh? It has a formula. You just replace you know, your so-called uh, the number of carbon, the number of hydrogen that you have into the formula. Then you will be able to get the degree of unsaturation. So for saturated alkane, this alkane, eh, why do we call it saturated? Because it doesn't have any double bond. Okay, its degree of unsaturation is equal to zero. Okay, there is no double bond, there is no ring in there. So hydrocarbons that contain a single double bond, this is just a repeat, eh? C double bond C or C double bond O, uh, o or contain a single ring are said to contain a single degree of unsaturation. Having the formula CnH2n. This one is H2N plus 2, so it means it representing a loss of 2 hydrogen. Okay, so a single degree of unsaturation, it means the loss of 2 hydrogen. Clear? So hydrogens, hyd hydrocarbon that contain 2 double bonds. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Eh? How about eh? if you have a triple bond? Okay, triple bond. Uh, this is like 1 double bond. Two double bond. Okay, so it has a degree of unsaturation of two. Okay, so uh, hydrocarbon that contain two double bond or two ring. Okay, if you have two ring, you can add a ring here. Okay, two ring. In this case, is two ring. Uh, this is two. Okay. Uh, or an alkyne, a triple bond, eh, contain two degree of unsaturation. And having a formula of Cn H2n minus 2. Okay, which means representing a loss of an additional 2 hydrogen bond. Okay, from Cn H plus uh, Cn H2n plus 2 now becomes Cn H2n minus 2. Plus 2 to minus 2. So missing or uh, uh, lossings of 4 hydrogen. Okay. So benzene, as I just mentioned, has six carbon atom and four degree of unsaturation. Why? Because it has one ring and three double bond. Okay. So from the degree of unsaturation, you are able to guess. Okay. What? How many double bond or uh, or carbonyl group or a ring uh, or either your compound is a uh, contain a benzene. Okay. So let's see the example. Uh, how to calculate degree of unsaturation? Okay, uh, this is something I believe you need to memor uh, memorize the formula. It will not be given to you in the exam. Okay, so let's see. Eh? It's very simple. There are some rules that you need to follow before you can uh, calculate a degree of unsaturation. Okay, so degree of unsaturation can be calculated readily from the molecular of all Carbon, uh, all compounds containing carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur, or uh, halogens, by applying the following rules. So you you need to remember the the three rules. Okay, rule number one: replace all halogen in the molecule uh, in the molecular formula by hydrogen. For example, for example. Uh, uh, if you have this CH two, CH two, Cl, okay, CH two, C. Hey, let's see, eh? I need to draw out first. H H H. Also oh, CH two, CH Cl, okay. If you have this CH two, CH Cl. If I ask you how many number of carbons is there, how many number of carbon? Is in this molecular formula? Oh. Two. How many hydrogen? Three. Of course, it's three, but you have a chlorine there. So you have to ignore the chlorine, replaced by the number of uh, hydrogen. So your number of hydrogen become four. Okay, so this is the first rule. Later we will see how. Eh? Second rule omit oxygen and sulfur. If your molecular formula contain oxygen or sulfur, just ignore them. Huh? Do not consider them in your so-called your uh, calculation of uh, 
degree of unsaturation. Okay. Third rule for each nitrogen and uh, omit the nitrogen and one uh, hydrogen. What does it mean? The same formula if you have this N H two. Okay, N H two. Let's say uh, before you know anything, before you know the rules, if I ask you how many carbon are there in this formula? How many carbon? A. How many carbon? Two. How many hydrogen? Five hydrogen. How many N? One N. So in, in the calculation of degree of unsaturation, how many carbon? Two. How many hydrogen? Huh? Four or six? Huh? Hey, you do not know how to read the English. For each nitrogen, omit the nitrogen and one hydrogen. What is omit? Omit means minus. Okay? So how many hydrogen? Four. Okay, so you have to calculate the number of hydrogen as four. Okay? So let's see the example given here. Uh, what is the example? So the formula is like this. The formula given is like this 2C plus 2 minus H. Okay? 2C plus 2 minus H. C represents number of carbon, H represents number of hydrogen. Okay? After you add this, divide by half. Okay? Number of carbon times 2 plus 2 minus number of hydrogen, divide the, the so called the, the answer. The total of this minus, uh, no minus, divide by 2. Okay, divide by 2. Or times half. Okay, this is the same meaning. Eh? So take for example, now you have this molecular formula. C4, H8O2. So how many C are there? 4. How many H? 8. O is, you have 2 O, the P, uh, but <laughs> you does not consider in your calculation. Okay, does not consider the number of O in your calculation. So you replace in your formula, you, you remember the formula, eh? so if you replace 2 C, C is 4, 2 times 4, okay, plus 2 minus 8, 8 which is the number of the uh, hydrogen. Total of this divide by 2, you will get a single degree of Unsaturation. Okay? So, what does it indicate? It might be a, a what? Contain a double bond or it might contain a C double bond O. Which one is more likely? Uh, maybe a C double bond O is this case because you have two O2 there. Okay? So, you can draw out you know, from here C4. Then we will test you to ask you to draw out the possible molecular structures for this compound okay let's try eh? let's try together c4 h8 o2 we know you degree of unsaturation equal to one okay see whether whether you can draw out i will have a guess okay this guess it either contain a c double bond o or, or c double bond c let's try c double bond o how about this? Eh? Just try. Doctor do not know the answer. So how how many C? C. Okay, let's 3H3, three CH2. Three, three. Hey, one more C, eh? 4 C, eh? CH3, CH2, CH2H. Hey, Nana. How many C? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 C. How many H? 3, 2, 2, 8. Uh, no, this is 7, 8. Okay, how many O? 2 O. So this is the, I would say this could be the only answer. Okay, if you can try C double bond C, you might not get. Okay, so this is how you predict the structures eh, of your chemical compounds from a molecular formula eh, by knowing the degree of unsaturation. Okay, so we have more example. Uh, like this one, propose a structures for C5H8. 
Okay, now let's do together this exercise. Do it now. Eh? I want you to show your answer. Now you are given a molecular formula C5H8. Hey, very simple. Eh? Never mind, we start with something simple first. Okay, first calculate the degree of unsaturation. Still remember the formula? Half, half what? 2C plus 2 minus H. Okay, uh, this is the DU formula. Okay, please do it now, everyone. I will call your name and come to write. You'll show your answer. Where is the attendant list for today? Attendant list? No, forget. I better do it now. I do have your name yesterday. Unless you didn't come because you went to see what oven yak. Eh? Yesterday there is a there is a function, isn't it? Eh? Today. Okay. Hey, please move your hand. Calculate the degree of unsaturation. And also propose the structures. Eh? Propose the structures. Propose Propose all possible structures eh? If the degree of unsaturation equal to 2 What are the possibility? Eh? What does it mean? 2 double bond and Any other possibility? Eh? Can it be 2 ring? Can it be 2 rings? Degree of unsaturation equal to 2 Is it possible it indicate you have your compound content 2 ring? Or 1 ring, 1 double bond Or 2 double bond eh? So you have to consider all the possibility eh? It doesn't mean that you only contain 2 double bond Okay Okay. So now done. So this uh, Lim Chia Chin. Where is Lim Chia Chin? Not here. Okay, please come to show your answer. Yesterday you didn't come, eh? but you appear in the Name list. Drop, drop the one. Because you see, eh, you are the lucky one. There are more than 100 names in the list, but your name is called, but you are not there. So you can go and buy 4D already, isn't it? Uh.
Eish. That's it. That's it. Anyone have any answer? If you give this answer in the exam, I assure you, you didn't get any mark. Why? The H are missing. Eh? There is no... Eh? In chemistry, this is not a... Nothing, you know, either you can show a skeleton structures without H or you have, when you want to write like this, you have to show the, the H there. Okay? So this is unacceptable. Okay? You may get answer maybe minus half. Anyone have any other answer? Hey, please come and show your answer so that you are, you know, you know the answer. Come? No. no. Nobody have other answer? You are first year university student. Eh? You are not uh, what we call kindergarten student, very shy. You, know? you need to stand out and speak out. Okay? Uh, I, this is, I feel very so called uh, disappointed. Kecewa. You know, all the students are just like, you know, you know. This is. Please show your answer, show that you know. No other answer? Ah, go and show. Very, very passive. You know, very passive. You cannot survive outside. Okay? In the West, you know, if in the West, the, if the lecturer asks, you know, anyone want to show the answer, everyone raise their hand. It's true. You know? Now, nobody want to answer, you know, tundok, kepala, uh, this is very shameful. Any other answer? Please, come and show your answer. Okay, good. A good try. He now we all have how many? What is the molecular formula? C5 H8. Let's see how many H. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this one. Okay, so we have four answers. See whether correct or not. So either a double bond, a uh, double bond is a one element of unsaturation. A cyclic ring is one element of unsaturation. A triple bond is two element of unsaturation. So only this. You have got this. You have got this, and uh, you have got this. Is this correct? These two are the same or different? Different, eh? eh? Same or different? Same or different? You have to count one, two, three, four, five. So it's one, four. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, pentane, pen, uh, diene. Okay, this is one, two, three, four, five. So, this is two, four. This is one is one, four. One is two, four. Okay, so maybe you have one extra answer. If the chemical structure, everything is correct, mean it's possible to get extra one. Is it correct? Everyone got four. So you, you are smarter than the answer here. Eh? Isn't it? Only, this only have three. Okay, you have four. I think it's correct eh? because this is two different compounds. Eh? This is one, four. This is two, four. 
Let's check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Correct, eh? Okay, C5, H8. Okay. How about this? How about this? Try again. Propose a uh, structures for this. After we finish this, we, we, we uh, uh, stop the class here. Okay, please try, eh? Try with your hand and your brain, don't speak. Rizwan Ibrahim. Who is Rizwan Ibrahim? Not here. I don't want to admit. Okay, we have a Tengku here. Tengku Ahmad. Tengku? Siapa Tengku? Mm, try. Got the answer? Show the calculation of du and show your answer. Okay, four degree of unsaturation. What does it mean, four degree of unsaturation? It could mean many things, isn't it? Four double one? Can it be four double one? Uh, you try. Wow, really four double one? Uh, never mind, give it a try.
Okay, thank you. A good try. But do you think it's possible? The first answer. Can you find any uh, chemical compound like this? Huh? Let's check the answer. The answer is only the the bottom one. This you cannot synthesize it. You cannot make it in the lab. Okay. But a good try. If you give two answer in the exam, uh, we will not uh, minus your mark. You will still get full mark. Okay, a good try, but not a smart answer, which show that you do not understand chemistry. Okay, <laughs> you cannot get a compound like this. Okay, okay, okay. We finish here. Continue next week.